Today, we're gonna make a delicious risotto with these chanterelles that some friends found in the mountains. What a beautiful earth gift. Let's get started. Here we have some riso arborio, which as you can see, it's not very elongated. It's a fatter rice. And what's so nice about risotto, it's gonna give us a wonderful, wonderful, creamy texture. To make risotto, first of all, we're going to cut up this onion into small pieces. Let's get the skin off. We're gonna cut it in half and then just simply cut across like this. And the reason I'm not going all the way to the back so it doesn't fall apart, but here we go. And now we're gonna cut them this way into much smaller pieces. And you see, here we have these nice small pieces that are gonna be perfect to put into our preheated pot. We chopped up about three fourths of the onion and now we're going to saute it in a pan with some olive oil and a little bit of butter. Today, Sarah and I are going to use the pizza cucina where the fire is below and it heats up this top where we already have the large pot where we'll do the risotto. And over here, we have a wonderful vegetable broth. Let's put some oil in here. And this is what's so important about risotto. You put the onions in first. And we're gonna cook them until they're translucent. In the meantime, we're going to cut up the mushrooms. We're gonna get the larger mushrooms and just cut them into some smaller chunks. And these are going to be added to the onions. Our onions have become nicely translucent. Now to that, we're gonna add the riso arborio and allow it to toast just a bit. Now, how do you know that the rice has been toasted enough? You definitely don't want it to become brown, but you see, let me show you up close. Some of the rice kernels are still white. Ideally, if they almost become translucent, that's the perfect time. So there are a few rules to follow with risotto. One, first of all, heat the pan up and put the onions in there with a little butter and oil, and then when they are translucent, add the rice, and then we'll go to the next step. Now that the rice has nicely been toasted, we're gonna add our mushrooms to it. And allow the mushrooms to dance in this heat for just a little bit. Look at these colors, oh wow. We're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper powder because we like some heat. And now we're gonna have to let it sfumare, cook out with some wine. Here goes the wine. We'll give it a quick stir and allow the wine to cook out. As you can see, the wine has cooked out and now the process of adding a bit of broth to our risotto is beginning. And this is a big secret that one must really be respectful of, is to stir it, allow the broth to get cooked in before you add another ladle of it. And it's kind of a laborious job stirring it, but boy, is it well worth it. I have not added any salt because the broth already has salt. As we're doing this, all the starches are being released from the rice and it causes the rice to become so nice and creamy, which is typical to risotto. Let's get some more broth. Add to it. And we'll just keep stirring. And this process will continue to be done until the rice is just about ready. 
we added our last ladle of uh, vegetable broth and check out this creamy, creamy broth that is in here. We're gonna cook it just a bit longer and let it cook in. And then we will show you the last very important step, which is called the manticatura. Most of the broth has been absorbed. Now we're gonna take it off the heat source and we're going to do what's called manticare. We have kept the butter in the freezer because to do this, you really need to have the butter very, very cold. And we're going to let this melt in there as we're stirring quite briskly. And at the same time, we're also gonna add Parmigiano Reggiano that we have grated previously. All right, let's put this in. And what happens when we do this, we have almost this incredible cream that forms from um, the emulsifying of the fat with the starches of the rice. So look at this, it's becoming even more creamy and absolutely divine. So we're really gonna work it hard. Look at this creaminess, absolutely incredible. Now we're gonna take it inside and plate it and enjoy a beautiful result. And here we are, finally ready to plate our beautiful risotto that is perfectly creamy. Look at this, the aroma coming out of here is absolutely delicious. Now, we're gonna plate our plate and before we know it, we're gonna get to enjoy a delicious risotto. We're going to put just a bit of parsley on top, as well as a piece of our beautiful mushroom. We will also put a nice quick drizzle of olive oil on it, as well as just a bit of dusting of Parmigiano Reggiano. And here we are, ready to get to taste this most amazing risotto. But you know what? I'm gonna add just a very fine dusting of peperoncino and I'm gonna get to take the first bite. Oh wow, creamy and absolutely delicious and full of flavor. Buon appetito!